Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Sheila's Magical Jikoni. And today I will be making one of my favorite dishes, pilau. So many people have asked about my recipe. Disclaimer, I am doing it the way I love. People have different ways of making pilau. Um, someone will say it's not the actual Swahili pilau. This is my way of making it. I'll show you how to go about it. I'll be serving it with pili pili and steamed cabbage. And today I am joined by my sister. Yeah! Hi guys! That's me. She'll be the taster for today. Of course, she's been eating it for quite a while, but I mean, I'll tell you how awesome it is at the end, which it always is. So join me. I hope you love it, guys. And guys, don't forget to subscribe, please, please, please. And then let's continue. So guys, ingredients for today, I have my rice, meat, pilau masala, some soy sauce, some pilau spices whole, garlic and ginger, and I'll use like two tomatoes for my pilau. And then for my cabbage, I have this cabbage here, onions and carrots. For my pili pili, I have one green capsicum, courgettes fresh coriander, some onions, and I have mixed several spices, which I'll include on the description box, tomato paste, some salt, and oil to cook. Um, so guys, some people roast their whole spices. Mine, I usually like to pound them first, and then the roasting bit will be when I place it in my hot pan with onions and my meat. So for now, we'll just pound it. That is enough for me. I have crushed most of them. So let's get to cooking. So guys, um, I boiled my meat already, that's why my sufuria looks like this. I'm heating up the pan so that we can start cooking. I always love start, um, starting to cook with a very hot pan, that way I will not waste time. Turn of the essence. Guys, I will now add my whole spices. Um, at this point, I love to add my meat. I am making pilau ya mbuzi. I'll now add my garlic and ginger paste. And some pilau masala, grounded. I'm 
I'll puree some tomatoes here that I'll add. So guys, I'll add my tomatoes to the mix. I'll then add some rice. And some soy sauce. I had seasoned my meat and my garlic and ginger also has salt so I'll just add a little more because of my rice honestly I just put till my ancestors tell me it is enough my daughter Then add my rice. Zero waste, zero waste. I then add um, my hot water and I have put three cups of rice so I'll do six cups of water And that's just about it. Easy peasy. We let it boil and cook. I let it boil first, then I reduce the heat to medium low so that it cooks. I'm a I got one I'll now reduce my heat to low and let it simmer and dry up. Guys, the pilau is ready. Oops. It looks so good. So guys, now I want to make our pili pili paste and I want to grate my courgeot and my ho ho. I've already pureed my tomatoes. So yeah, I already washed my veggies before this. I'll 
So I'm using the smaller size because I want it fine. So we start with our orange. Then add the fresh banana socks. A trick I learned from one of um, the YouTubers I follow it gives the food a different kind of kick. I just want them translucent, not really golden. Then I add my garlic and ginger. And to this guys, I will add um, my spices. I mixed several spices, including chili. So since it's really, really of course, um, it's supposed to be hot, but you will do it according to your preference. You want it mild, you want it hot, you want it extra hot. I'll then add my grated capsicum in project. I then add my tomatoes. So other people um, add raw mangoes to this and also raw potato, sorry, raw popos. But today I will not be using that. I will just make a basic pili pili without mango or coco. But it's still as good as the one that has mango or coco. I then add my tomato paste. I'll then add some soy sauce, a tablespoon is enough. We we'll let it simmer for around 10 minutes and then it will be good to go. So guys, um, in my spice mix, I had added some salt. 
and I have tasted it and I it needs some more salt. But the pili pili is ready. So I'll just top with fresh coriander and that's it. So guys, now I want to skip our cabbage. Um, we're using um, just about four ingredients. I'm waiting for my oil to heat up. We want our onions to just be translucent, not brown. I love adding um, some butter. Just a little bit. So I always add um, salt on my onions and on my cabbage. I divide the salt that I'll use into two and add salt twice. Again, we just want them translucent, so I'll add my cabbage. Once I have mixed in my cabbage, I add my carrots. Then I add some salt to taste. Guys, that's just about it. Your cabbage still needs to be crunchy because if you overcook it, you definitely feel the ingredients, but the protein, sorry. Sorry. What am I even saying? You need the vitamins in it. Yes, that's the one I was looking for. So yeah, it is done. So now we eat. So guys, the food is ready. It's time to eat. Um, to those that love to add a banana, please feel free. I'll be having mine like this today. So guys, uh, our food is ready. We're about to eat. Yay! So um, let's dig in. My favorite part. I want to have a bite of everything. I know, right?
ックネックうんうんうんうんHi guys, 